Hi, Virgos. Hi. It's been a while since I've done a reading for you. I've been through a lot. But I'm here for you to tell you Happy Valentine's. And we're going to take a look at the energies that are coming in for you. Calling on the angels and the guides to prevent any negative energies from coming in on this reading for my Virgo, Sun, and Rising Venus, North Node folks. Those people that are longing to be loved on Valentine's, longing for the right kind of love and affection. How will it turn out for them? How will it turn out for my Virgos? And then I am pulling forth the Oracle of the Angel Messages to see what direction you're going. What do they see for my Virgos on Valentine's? And then, of course, Tarot. What do you see for the Virgos on Valentine's? Virgo lovers, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Will you have love? Will you have companionship? Will you be with family? Will you be going out? Will you be making love? Will you be cooking? What will you be doing? Let's see how love shows up for Virgo. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and staying with me. Thank you for those who are Patreon members. Okay, here we go. So my Virgos, let's look at your love messages. These are all in, in these are all intuitively drawn. Your energy, your significant person, and the event. All right, Virgo. Let's see what they're saying. Finances and career are very big for you, so you might be watching your money. Some of you may actually be working on Valentine's. In the process of releasing an ex because you know you deserve better. That tells me many of you will be alone, learning and looking at all of your situation and going, you know what, I deserve love. I'm gonna I'm gonna set my sights higher on love. See, so you're focusing on the eternal light of love. I want it to last. I want it to be so good. <clears throat> I want it to be God ordained, ordained. So that it's the right one. I don't have to spend any time messing around with the wrong one. Um, right now I'm focusing on my health and the health of my relationships. They need to be solid and grounded. Um, I need to feel well enough to be in a relationship. I deserve love. You're sitting in the emperor energy, which means you probably are running a business. You're probably nobody to toy with. You probably have a lot of responsibility and a lot of people to look after. And you're Shazam. You're sitting here as divine masculine energy. Your significant person has walked away. They're leaving. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Because they were sharing with someone else. Or you might have been sharing with someone else. And they didn't like it much. It could be money. It could be the fact that they didn't contribute enough to the relationship and make it work. And at this point, you're not seeing that person on Valentine's. Will someone new come in for my beautiful Virgos? Hell yes. Look. God wants you to be happy. It was 3.20 when I said that. He wants you to be happy if you have to be happy by yourself with the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. One more, please. But they will be watching you. <laughs> They'll be keeping an eye on you to see if you're seeing somebody else. You deserve to be free. You deserve to be happy. Do you hear me? Yep. Tell them what you need to say. Speak what you need to say. Watch out. Don't let people come to you with nasty little bitter remarks. You are sitting in love and you're tired of fighting with this person. Don't give them any space. What else, please? Yeah. So, yep. You're gonna increase your faith. You're gonna pull back. You're gonna do what's best for yourself and you might be dating a Taurus on Valentine's Day. That's what I have for you, sweethearts. Thank you for being here. I miss you. I love you. And I'll be back on with a nice full reading on the first. Continue to say prayers for me, and I will say prayers for you. I love you, Virgos. Namaste.